Hello, World of Tank Blizzards. It's Littlefinger. Hey, and I've got uh, several ISU 122S games here. Um, as you know, I have uh, got a lot going on, real world stuff. Just trying to get a few videos out. Hopping on a couple times a day, maybe getting four or five games in. Um, and I am just uh, flabbergasted by how bad teams have gotten. So, you know, I'm going to just drive the tanks I really enjoy driving and this tank is one of them um, it is just a powerhouse with over 3,000 damage per minute um, it's fast and uh, the gun is surprisingly accurate uh, even though I switch over to HE here and do a very low roll into the side of the SP1C um, but I mean my god I'm bottom tier and this is supremacy and why am I the one that, in a TD that has to come up and cap B? I mean, everyone knows on vineyards you go cap B, you cap A, and maybe someone goes in to C, uh, maybe not. Um, but for whatever reason, the team lingered there in spawn. I didn't really do anything, and you can see we've got one guy now in see who's getting pushed on um, we're trying to get rid of this mod one and I gotta tell you what that um, that camo there is probably the reason that I typically turn off camo for all um, you really can't see where you can definitely pen with that camo on that mod one um, but here look we've got three tanks over there chasing that mod one and he's gonna come back and uh, eventually kill me um, but anyway we, we've bounced two shots off on him, him now and uh, you know we're just kinda trying to hold our ground up here at B you know we're getting our shots in we're doing our damage we're at 1700 damage look at that mod one you know, he's got three tanks around him what are they doing over there um, and you know I'll, I'll show you here in a second why but uh, we're going to get another shot into the WZ. Um, and we're just going to try to back down and reload. Oh, look. Here's Mod 1. Yep. Sure enough, we can't pen him from the front. Um, he's going to circle us. And, uh, yeah. Now we're dead. All right. So uh, our team has uh, obviously only capped the base that I capped. Um, now, look at this player here. Um, I know naming and shaming is not uh, exactly taken kindly but uh, here you've got shots to your left on low health tanks yeah so let's shoot HE into the stir a meal there um cause that's really gonna keep us in the game Whew. so 2145 damage he was our second best player at just under 800 yes 36 percent win rate a total of 756 battles and he's playing in a tier 8 heavy um Come on, Wargaming. Let's let's smarten up a little bit and let's put some limits. Um, you have to play a certain number of battles before you can advance tiers. I know you guys want to make money, and I want you to make money, and I want this to be a great experience for everybody. But um, when that's your best tank on the team, um, you know, we go through these win rates here, 43, 45, 42. Um, so it looks like we have one other player above 50 on my team and ISX was zero it's just really really difficult to win um, really not even win just have competitive games and here we are on desert sands um, and just you know this is pretty much like back-to-back -back games um, because all I really want to do is get a win in my premium tank make some credits and move on right but getting back to my point um, with the number of zeros that I'm seeing on teams, and you know, I've had my share of zeros too, but um, I can tell you that uh, pretty much eight times out of ten, nine times out of ten, I'm the top one or two in damage on my team, regardless of tier. Um, you know, I do make mistakes and I do get zeros from time to time, but you know, I've just logged on and, and played a few games and I'm getting two, three zeros on my team at one time. Um, you know, something is definitely broken, um, and I know everyone complains about this, but uh, just take a look at this game. We've got B, we're getting C, 
Um, their team is all over the rail. Uh, look, IS-8. Yeah, AFK into the building. Um, there goes uh, one of our top tier tanks. We are going to uh, get a shot into the AMX there. Ah, SU is taken down in uh, about 30 seconds in. We're going to trade shots with that Type 59. You know, one thing about this tank, it does have a really nice reload. Get some damage, track him. Um, well, look at that. We get tracked by that ISU 152. It takes almost half of our life. Um, Black Prince is just going to wander on in there. Don't worry about who's around. Black Prince now has lost half of his life. Um, you know, it's just mindless play style, really. And all we really had to do was protect B. <laughs> all you had to do was protect B, guys. And we win this game. But they just roll on out there in front of five other tanks. And, uh... <laughs> you can see... I mean, it's so, so frustrating. So, there we go. Uh, 2753 in damage. Um... And we've just got the mod one left, but you know, just just having that IS-8 be an AFK. Um, I'm sorry, IS-5. Um, it, it really impacts this game so much, and uh, it makes it quite frustrating. You know, when you're putting out numbers like that, and you've got two zeros on your team, and a Black Prince with 330 damage, and and look at this, just about everyone's over 50%. Um, it's just mind blowing to me. Just really is. All right, guys. So here we are, third game, Winter Malinovka Supremacy, and you can see bottom tier. So, yeah, two really rough games there, back to back. Um, and this is about what it takes to win these days. So, uh, I don't know. Um. This is great for me, actually. These uh, our, our lights and mediums have pushed on down and spotted up all of these guys. They're just sitting out in the open. A little shame. I uh, bounced that first shot off the FCM. Um, but you can see we are just loading and firing and <laughs> dishing out damage, um, which is what you want to be doing in a tank like this with 3,000 DPM. They've wised up, gotten off the hills, um, and obviously playing a little bit more cautious. See what the accuracy on this. Nope, that ain't going to work. Um, so I decide, you know, I got to relocate here. We're not being useful. And uh, we've been in the game for about a minute or so already, and our guys are just now getting to see. I'm not sure what took them so long. Um, and I know this is going to be trouble because. Their entire team has pushed on to A. We got the first shot into the ISU. Obviously a tier higher tank. And he's going to take a big shot here out of me. But uh, we managed to reload and finish him off. Going to flex back down to the right here. Uh, just because there's nothing really for me to shoot at down here. So it looks like their entire team is down low, um, and I'm going to push around here and help out on the T-44. Shot into the back of the FCM, and they are closing in on this poor guy. Just barely missed that shot. It was a little disappointing. But we're nicely protected here behind this hard cover. We can get shots in. We can back up. Now we have evened the tanks up four on four. 
and there goes the T-44, so we're now down a tank. T-34-2 knows I'm here. He's playing cautious. Fairly low health, so I don't really want to get out in the open. Here comes the lightweight. He catches me on fire, and luckily we put it out with 21 hit points left. And get a nice shot on the move. Reload in time to take out the T-34-2. So we're up to 2,700 damage already. Can we get one more shot in on this T-25? Sure enough, there we are. Over 3k damage as bottom tier. And quite honestly, that is what it takes to win a game these days. So, got to take the uh, the lumps with the good games, obviously there. Um, but we made some good money. Level one mastery badge, three kills, top damage on the team. And uh, again, you really got to carry in order to get a win these days because of these teams. So, anyway, have fun out there, guys. And remember, get educated, not fingered. Little finger out.